Or there goes to the funeral. A Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting. And then a funeral was passing in front of him and his gathering. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stood up. They said, Ya Rasulullah, it is a funeral of a Yahudi, of a Jew. So he said, so what? Isn't it nafs? Isn't it the soul of a human being? It's out of respect for death. And the soul which died, regardless, the person is a believer or an unbeliever. Attending the funeral where there is a prayer, the person who is the chaplain, whatever religion that he would be presenting, would invoke other than God and you will be standing is not permissible. Rasulullah sallallahu did not attend the funeral of his own uncle Abu Talib whom he cried so much when he died, whom the historians call the year on which he died the year of sorrow and grief. But because he died as a non-Muslim, the Prophet sallallahu didn't attend his funeral. Yet, any non-Muslim friend or neighbor or colleague have a death in the family, Muslims are obliged and are required to give the condolences, to go to their houses if they can, to condole them and to assure them. Uh, they have happy event to share with them, good or bad events, to condole them whenever there's something which uh, incurs sorrow or grief, happy moments, text message, postcard, a little gift, and so on. But I do not attend an event which there is haram in it, whether it is, you know, uh, orchestrated by Muslims or non-Muslims.